All right. Um, so for this one, I have x plus y equals 4 and 3x minus y equals 16. So I've got to solve by elimination, or that's at least what I'm going to use. Um, we're going to be practicing elimination. So remember, guys, when we're doing elimination, I told you on these steps up here, the main important thing when doing elimination is you have to have the same number in front of your variable, which we call the coefficient. So as I look at my x's, I need to for your first term, and can I use, use elimination right now? Do my x's have the same number in front? No. One has a 1 in front, and the other one has a 3. It's not the same. Do my y's have the same number in front? Yeah, one, I mean, I know one's positive, one's negative, but the, just the absolute value, the coefficient, I have, a pot, I have a 1 and a negative 1, right? So I both have a 1. So I know I can use elimination. Now, am I going to use elimination by adding or elimination by subtraction? Well, it says, ladies and gentlemen, when we have our coefficients are exactly the same, but one, but they have opposite signs, meaning one is positive, one is ne negative, we can use elimination by addition. Okay? So it's really important for you guys to understand, just look for your variables, see when they're the same. And when they have when they're exactly the same, but one's positive, one negative, you do elimination by addition. So what do I mean by elimination by addition? <clears throat> All I want you to do is take your two equations and add them up. Make sure your x's and your y's are perfectly aligned and then add the two equations. x plus 3x is 4x. y plus a negative y is 0y. 4 plus 16 is 20. Now the important thing why we did this is when you add them up and they're the same value but one's positive and one negative, that gives you to 0. So when I have 0 times anything, that eliminates that variable. So now I have 4x equals 20. So now it's just a one-step equation, solve for x. x equals 5. But we gotta remember, we're solving a solution, not an equi or I'm sorry, we're solving a solution to a system, not just a solution to one equation. So since I have my two equations, I need to find out what is the x value. What is the value of the y? So to do that, I need to plug in the value of x into one of my equations for y. So, I'm sorry, I need to plug the value of 5 in for one of my values of x. So I'll say 5 plus y equals 4. I'll plug it into the first equation. I plug the value of x into the first equation. Then, I just simply subtract, and what I get is y equals negative 1. So now, if you guys notice, I have two variables, right? I have an x and I have a y. Well now, I've figured out the value of x and y. 